Welcome back. This is the final game of the day. Yoon versus Memory. Protoss versus Terran. These are two very interesting, very talented players. Yoon defeated Nada. I mean, if you don't know who Nada is, you don't know Nada about StarCraft because this guy is very, very famous. He is, um, and he's been eliminated by none other than Yoon. Now, Memory, on the other hand, he's already pretty well known. Um, I've casted uh, several of his games before, but he managed to eliminate Cassie, also known as Adamus. So again, uh, I would say that both of those are, are reasonable. It's reasonable to say those are upsets. So now we're going to see who's going to win between these two players, Yoon and Memory. I am pumped. This should be a very, very interesting series. The first map will be Coliseum. Coliseum, of course. Very interesting map, very complex, uh, the architecture of the map itself. And I think we may be getting this game underway uh, sooner than normal here. Yoon's already joined. We're just waiting on the other player to come in here. Now, Yoon really surprised, uh, I think, everybody, not just me, um, with his excellent uh, play. And I'm sure you remember the memory versus uh, Cassie games, the ones where I uh, screwed up the uh, player names. And uh, pretty much uh, made a fool out of myself. Yeah, although I did manage to get another monitor now from Gulm uh, so that I can uh, see the same feed that you guys are seeing. So you know what? Maybe it was a good thing I, uh, I messed it up. Maybe it was all uh, intentional. We'll see. Um, but in reality, no. It was a total mistake. But yeah, here we are back um, with these two players casting their games once again. They're both in the game now. And... Uh, Apparently they're saying something funny because uh, Yoon is smiling right now. I am interested in seeing uh, the results of this match. By the way, thank you to Intel for sponsoring the event. Go buy an Intel. I have Intel hardware in my computer. I support the cause. Time for you to do the same. And I think pretty soon here... Um, well, I'm just curious, actually, overall. I wonder how these players are going to play this game out um, on this map. Will we see uh, Fast Nexus from our Protoss player, Yoon? Pretty common uh, build order uh, on this map. They just check the center with the scouting probe. On the other hand, Terran, we're probably going to see pretty fast command center. Not command center uh, before barracks or anything uh, crazy like that, but certainly something um, of the fast expanding sort. So it'll probably be a macro game, probably not our shortest game, um, such as the final game with Anytime versus Dragoon, although it's certainly a possibility. And there is Yoon. He Yooned Nada. He may Yoon memory here in just a little bit. Again, Yuna, pretty new player here, but certainly a very talented player. Um, and he was very, very pleased after defeating Nada. Um, I personally got to congratulate him on such an incredible uh, accomplishment. Now, Memory, again, like I said already, he is uh, a little bit more accomplished, um, a little bit more well-known. Uh, his name's been out there for a little while, but I think Yuna certainly has the potential to uh, get his name out there and start becoming one of the bigger pro gamers out there as well. Now, um, what else can I tell you guys? Uh, actually, excuse me, uh, memory has left the game, so we may be here listening to Tasteless Ramble On for a little bit longer. I hope you're okay with that. The map lineup, Coliseum, then on uh, Andromeda. And if we go to a third game, uh, it's going to be on Othello. All fantastic maps. I believe these are the maps of the week right now on iccup.net, iccup.net, uh, the largest StarCraft ladder in the world. Since uh, Blizzard abandoned the StarCraft ladder a long time ago, all the uh, StarCraft players have already made a new one. It's been up for a while. But, uh, yeah, definitely check out these games, and then you can use some of these strategies, the build orders, to play on that ladder uh, since those are the maps of the week right now. Definitely give that a shot. And uh, we might be having some technical difficulties because for some reason um, 
both players have now left the game. I don't know what's going on. It's a mystery to me. I can't read the Korean fast enough to uh, translate it to you and comprehend it uh, when I see these players talking in the game. Oh, okay, hold on. Looks like we're gonna we're actually bringing out a new computer uh, into uh, one of the to, for one of the players something something went wrong with it or something. Uh, it will of course be an Intel computer, by the way. Perhaps an Avertech Intel computer. Hmm. Hmm. And we will put that. Um, we'll hook that up real fast there. Get that uh, fixed. I don't even know. I don't know who needs it, but yeah. Sometimes these technical difficulties occur. And when that gets all taken care of, we got some people in the back right now getting that fixed. Um, we will get this game going. But make no mistake, we are in a hurry here because we are so pumped at GOM TV to see Yoon play memory. Well, um, by the way, we are very happy to have you tuning in and watching this. We were not expecting the StarCraft uh, games to be such a success internationally, but it's turned out, uh, well, it's turned out to be the case that it is very successful. Everybody likes StarCraft. I like StarCraft. Apparently, you like it somewhat because you're watching this right now. Spread the word. Tell everybody. Post on all the forums, not just the gaming forums or the forums that you think people, uh, you know, where, where, all, where all the gamers are. Uh, I mean, spread the word everywhere because uh, we're finding all sorts of mainstream uh, sites that are, uh, you know, are all about uh, this kind of stuff. So definitely spread the word. And, um, yep. I think they're almost done fixing uh, whatever's going on, getting that new computer. We really enjoy StarCraft down here. We're just so glad that you guys have tuned in um, to watch these games. And think about it. I mean, next week is the final 16. 128 players, but in the end, there's only going to be one winner. And that is quite a feat. And with the amount of prize money we're giving away, it's really motivated a lot of these pro gamers to spend a lot of time practicing uh, for this event specifically. Um, it's actually become pretty popular now in Korea. Um, a lot of people are kind of considering this like a third star league, only the uh, format's going to be a little bit different. Actually, it's quite different. <laughs> All right, well, we haven't seen the players join the game yet, so I'm not sure what's going on. It was indeed Memory's computer, though, that uh, did have the problem. Maybe uh, it didn't have enough memory on it. We had to upgrade it. And, uh, no, I don't know. I have no idea. I just used these uh, these moments to uh, insert my, uh, my cheesy jokes. There is Sue, one of our tech guys. He is a cool guy, too. And he is going to get that fixed right away. We've got some SCVs underneath that table repairing the computer right now. I wonder what their Korean commentators are saying. I wonder. Maybe they're talking about me. I've heard they've talked about me before. I talk about them sometimes. They're actually all really nice guys. A lot of fun to uh, go out and hang out with. We all go out to dinner quite often. And they actually all speak English pretty well. Although, you know what? I just so happens I am the best uh, the best one in English. I own it, that language. Sometimes, not with pronouns and stuff like that. Uh, oh, God. Can we get this game going? Oh. All right. Uh, I'm sure the computer has to boot up. Uh, maybe they have to install the game too. Uh, maybe they might have to go on battle and get the patch. I'm not sure. Every once in a while, we do have these kind of technical difficulties um, at events like this. There was one time uh, that I actually uh, the KTF coach came up and talked to talk to me right before the game and accidentally kicked over one of the water bottles on the ground uh, and it caused uh, my monitors to short out. And um, they got that taken care of real fast. Only seconds before the event actually uh, started, the matches started. So uh, we are used to handling stuff like this, but I guess it's just a matter of time. Um, 
before these games get going, you know, it takes a little while to get, you know, all that stuff set up. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, uh, we're still waiting. We're just chilling over here. Before Yoon and Memory start to battle it out. I am sure um, whatever happens. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I've been talking for so long. I wonder uh, if that uh, rush that Dragoon did failed so badly that it actually broke the computer. Uh, wha- I am running out of stuff to say. Sorry, guys. And by the way, we, we may be getting another co-caster here sometime in the future, which is interesting. I'm still talking to my bosses about it. Let's see if we can't get someone else down here. Um, oh, look at that shot. That's a pretty good shot. Look, they're inside the sea. Yoon. Can he come out with a win on this? I guess memory has a... Uh, I guess uh, we, Sue or Tech Guy isn't in there anymore, so I would presume that pretty soon here uh, we're going to get this game going. All right, uh, Yoon's joined the game again. So I assume the memory's going to come in here pretty soon. Oh, by the way, cheers to all the people who are in IRC channels right now, such as the IRC channel plot. I appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to join those types of channels uh, so you can talk to people uh, while the games are going on. Maybe if you're hanging out all alone, feeling a little lonely, want to talk about some StarCraft. Or, you know, you could get all your friends over at your house. You could have, like, a giant LAN party, uh, only you'd all just talk on the IRC channel while you watch the games. You could do that, too. Okay, Memories joined the game. Whew. I didn't think I was going to make it out of that one, guys. I was like, be strong, Tasteless. You can do this. Okay. I don't think we're going to waste any more time here uh, in getting this game started. <coughs> Excuse me. It's time. We're going to get this going. I am as happy as you are. So the game has started. Here we have our Protoss player, Yoon. At the top right and at the bottom left, our Terran player, Memory. This should make for an interesting series. Or at least more interesting than listening to me ramble for a prolonged period of time as they fix Memory's computer. Two players from two different uh, teams. A lot of pressure riding on them. The farther you get, the more money you get. Now, as we can see, you not scouting uh, after the pylon. Very typical Protoss versus Terran. The Protoss really need to get uh, that first gateway out pretty quickly so they can get that first cybernetic score out pretty quickly. And note the positioning of the Terran Supply Depot. Um, behind the minerals, very intentional. That way scouting probes can't run circles around the uh, mineral patch and uh, command center, uh, which is the most common way to avoid your opponent's uh, scouting unit is you just make uh, circles. So that stops that. It also forces the SCVs to not go behind uh, the minerals when they're mining, which can happen once the mineral patches become saturated. The assimilator is on the way. Typical builds. As we can see, 
Yoon uh, did indeed uh, check the center for the proxy racks. Always a good idea to just take a peek into the center um, on, on uh, four-player maps uh, where you can construct buildings in the middle of the map. And it looks like Terran may be doing the same thing. So, oh, also note the positioning of the depot and the barracks. Very good for holding off um, an initial zealot, which might come into the uh, your base, try to try to rough you up, you know. And that is what Yoon's plan is. He has got one zealot. We'll see if this building placement proves to be very helpful for uh, our Terran friend Memory. Now, I would say Yoon is the underdog here because Memory is so accomplished. But then again, Yoon just completely owned up nada i mean he it, i mean they're actually I, you know i shouldn't even say owned up that's really not fair uh they were they were very good games uh definitely check them out um but if you can beat nada i mean you should be able to beat memory and what is this zealot doing in the middle of the map all right he woke up he's got narcolepsy just passed out for no apparent reason then woke back up Now, interestingly enough, we see the scouting SCV hiding over here. Uh, probably to scout uh, after the Dragoon has left. Yeah, that maybe he's a coward. I don't know. Maybe he's completely terrified of Protoss. They killed my father. Whatever, you know. Okay, no, he's not actually. Uh, he's going into the main now. And he will spot the Dragoon range on the way. Robo facility. So the Protoss is doing a pretty standard build. Um, I really like this build as well. Um, although I think anybody who plays Protoss has done this build before. Um, it does still give you a lot of options. You can get the observers. You can um, get the shuttle with the zealots and rush in there. Um, dropping them on the siege tanks to stop the fast expanding Terran. Uh, you can go for the reaver drop. It's pretty versatile. And as predicted, the Terran is going to go for a pretty typical Terran Fast Expo build. Nice control here by Yoon. Going to soften up these Marines. So much so that it looks like uh, he's going to actually back up memory. Gonna move back. The whole purpose of Terran doing that is to just uh, make some room so that the uh, Terran can plant a few mines in case a DT rush is on the way. This is probably, well, it's actually it very much so, is the most common uh, Terran versus uh, Protoss build. I mean, you can always do this build uh, and uh, you'll look like an experienced player. You just get that maybe. Four to uh, six Marines, the tank, uh, make the command center. Meanwhile, you're upgrading Vulture Mines and get a Vulture, make uh, one to maybe three Vultures, plant a few Mines. There you go. Observers are out, so it doesn't look like uh, we're going to see a shuttle just yet. Although, we, who knows, we may still see one. It's very possible. And those vultures are probably going to wait for the Protoss to leave his base. And then they're going to um, go in there and dish out some ownage. Now it looks like, uh, well, the observer is going to scout out and sees exactly what the Terran's doing. 
A lot of times, Saren players will keep that engineering bay over the turret so that when you rush in there with a the shuttle, assuming that you're reaver dropping, you end up flying into the turret because you didn't see it right away. And as usual, uh, our Protoss player um, is going to try to wall that up with pylons eventually as the pylons become more and more necessary as the supply count goes up. Uh, we will see a pylon wall there. No, nope, Protoss is going to double expand against the Terran. Uh. <laughs> he was deep in thought. And our Terran player is going to go for the uh, early armory, actually. Um, the build we saw flash completely uh, destroy Stork with. Very good anti-carrier build. Usually forces the Protoss to get the Templar check. Now this means Protoss has free reign over the map. Oh, you got busted, Vultures! Your cover's blown! They could have done a lot of damage later on, but they peeked out. Shame on you, Vultures. Now, interestingly enough, we are going to see a Reaver out here later on after the double expand, probably because uh, Yoon sees that there's an armory here. He's decided, all right, well, I guess I should go in here and do some harassment. I want to uh, see if I can't take out some SCVs or depots or anything to make this Terran push, which, by the way, is going to be very strong. I want to delay that as much as possible. Now, the Protoss is going to move out here and um, probably feeling more comfortable now that he's managed to uh, take out uh, the Vultures. There's memory with a new computer and Intel, probably. It's full of wonderful Intel parts. Okay, so what is he going to do with the shuttle? Okay, whoa, the Vultures have gotten in here. They're taking out some probes. Note that Protoss has got yet another expansion, as we can see on the mini-map. You really can't afford to lose very many probes um, in a build like this. Oh, trying to zealot bomb that tank. Zealot bombing, a very strong technique. Now, it doesn't look like any Reaver harassment is going to be effective, although one Reaver alone, if you micro it well enough with the Dragoons, could take out a ton of tanks. It's two Reaver shots to kill a tank, so... But, I mean, even if you get one Reaver shot off on a cluster of tanks, um, it can be really devastating. It's eight Dragoon shots to kill a tank as well, but considering that the Reaver um, drops the uh, tank to less than half health, then maybe it's only, like, about maybe three dra dragoon shots to kill it so I mean it's huge it makes a big difference it's a big freaking deal and there was Yoon showing his reaver off to us Templar archives so we will see the arbiter attack Yoon really uh, into the macro style. I gotta hand it to him though, he's very good at what he does. Uh oh. Vulture's making quick work of that probe. Oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh. Talk about a terrifying moment for that Dragoon. There were so many things that could have gone wrong for him back there. And Yoon really getting a lot of gateways here. I'm actually kind of curious as to what Yoon's food um, or supply limit is. And wow, taking out a few more probes here. Now, memory sneaking in here. There is one cannon here. And, um, well, I would say that Vulture Raid was effective. As you can see, uh, Memory has some pretty good map control, though, uh, with these mines. 
I do believe we have plus two for the Terran, or almost plus two, probably not yet. Once he gets plus two, though, he'll probably push. No upgrades at all for the... Whoa, hold that thought. Okay, here's some dropships now. This is an unusual variation of this build order now um, to see dropships. Normally, you don't see any dropships at all because the Terran's going for these upgrades. They want to have as many tanks... Uh, as possible when they push out. They don't want to spend the money on dropships. So this drop is going to have to be effective. Yoon looks pretty prepared for it. Oh, uh, don't do it. I'm not sure if this drop is going to be too effective, assuming that Yoon evacuates the probes in time. Well, these are the probes that Yoon never loved. They're going to stay back here. Oh, no. And are they going to get it? Oh, my gosh. Memory. This is not good. And he might be able to take out this Templar. That's kind of huge. Now taking out the... Um, the vultures, the attack is over. The probes can go back to doing what they do best, mining minerals. Now, memory is going to have to attack here pretty soon. And I mean, not attack with a few dropships. I mean, actually push. I mean, take your whole army out and uh, start really uh, attempting to drill a hole into the Protoss base. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Plus two attack, plus one armor. Not bringing all the tanks though. Here's the shuttle moving in here. Whoop! He never slows down. Went right over that. He may be reaver dropping. Did he lose the shuttle? Wait, where'd the shuttle go? Moving. Oh my gosh! No, I think memory's about to get yuned. No, maybe not. Definitely not. Those reinforcements came in there just in time. Now, even though Yoon definitely has the macro advantage, uh, Memory is going to have the upgrade advantage. And when Memory gets maxed out and decides to push, we could see that Protoss army melt like ice cream in a microwave. Or an oven. Oh, it just depends. There's so many different ways we could melt that ice cream to show how profound the... Uh, my meta, my okay, whatever. My metaphor is. Uh. All right, and as you can see now, Yuan is trying to catch up in the forge upgrades. And um, Yuan is really had his army size reduced, which is going to make him very susceptible to a push. And I think this is the right decision here, actually, is to go for a storm drop. No, maybe he's not going to go for the storm drop, because he put all the Templars in there. Uh, what he's going to do is he's going to use that shuttle full of the uh, Templars, so that when the Terran pushes out, since their army's going to be pretty much clumped together, they can uh, he can storm the bulk of it. Wow, that's a lot of vultures. It looks like they will manage to take out this expansion, assuming Yun doesn't get there in time. Note that Yun is taking or at least attempting to take the top left and the bottom right. Oh! This is not a good day for shuttles. I do believe... I guess he was going to storm drop with all four Templar. It's kind of weird. Um, normally you don't need more than two. Just because of the uh, how, how many spaces you need to storm. Take out the SCVs of the mineral patches. All right, well, this means that when memory pushes, Yoon could be in hot water. He might even be in hot lava. And I think we're going to see memory push very soon now. He knows he took out that shuttle. He doesn't know what was in it, but he knows that uh, whatever it was was probably pretty valuable. I think Protoss may have to go for a counterattack to try to keep the Terran army from getting too close. I believe we're gonna see plus three soon for Terran. Plus three attack, plus two armor.
And Protoss is indeed going to go for the counterattack. And we could see it very soon here. Here come a few Zealots to absorb these mine hits. Wow. It is a tough Zealot. And I think Memory is aware of what's going on. He's already lifted. And because Terran has been forced to pull back, I am curious if uh, he will uh, actually get Memory... Uh, We'll take memory out. One vessel goes down. You cannot afford to lose those vessels. He could manage to take out these command centers, though. Uh, not, well, not the best storms. Not the worst, though, either. Nice EMP on the uh, science vessel. Another great storm, too. And Perdos has been pushed out. But that was all part of Yoon's plan because now Yoon has managed to uh, push the Terran back into his base. But oh my gosh, there's a small Terran force over here taking out the expansion of the top left. Memory has now got the plus three attack, plus two armor, and is very powerful. Do not mess with this guy's army. He is in great condition now, and he will take out the bottom right, and that could seal Yoon's fate. Yeah, I don't think Yoon can win this now. There's really nothing that Yoon can do. He's already tried countering. He may try to counter again. There's and no, there's just no way Yoon can directly engage uh, Memory's forces. And Memory is very focused on rejecting a counterattack. Now taking out a lot of probes here. And I think uh, Memory, well, let's see, can he take this out? Actually, excuse me, I was I was wrong. I did not think that, I thought there were more tanks there. Well, it's going to be up to whether or not Memory can manage to get this expansion, or expansions over here at the bottom right. Very dangerous to be on top of that minefield like that. He is slowly creeping in here. This is not good. Well, it just depends, though. I, we, it's, Yoon is going to have to really uh, get in there with some precision. As we can see, Yoon's making DPs down here. He wants to force Terran to scan as much as possible so that when he attacks with the Arbiters, uh, Terran may be a short on a scan and it could cost him the game. But I don't know if he can get in there. And now look at this. All the probes are going to be taken out. Oh, what a recall back here. But I, I, does this matter? Nice EMP, though, here. And I think that uh, Terran should take this out with ease. At least it seems that way. Yeah, definitely will be the case. And I think you may type out GG very soon. Oh my gosh, memory is everywhere. There is just nothing that Yoon can do. Unbelievable, well done by memory. Memory is going to win this game. Uh, I think he's going to go up here and uh, finish his opponent off. Although he may be out of scans now. So many Arbiter attacks. Yeah, it looks like it. he's going to have to turn around. Bear in mind, memory is going to have to expand here pretty soon. Uh, expand again here pretty soon. And Yoon is just continuing to expand uh, like crazy. Very nice upgrades. Um, 
on this uh, these Terran units here, and he's just so far ahead. And oh, nice EMP too. EMP and the Arbiters really finishes it off. They won't have that much energy. It's going to be hard to pull off the stasis so that we see one here now. And uh, there's just not enough Protoss units. There's nothing that he can do. You knows what's going on. He's probably going to try to play this out for another minute or two. Uh, but losing this top left spot is really going to make it almost impossible unless... Oh, maybe Memory is going to go for the main or possibly for the mineral um, expansion at the top top center looks like he is going to go for the main he knows if he just takes out the gateways that's it and there's really nothing Protoss can do oh nice uh, tank placement here on the high ground wow okay that's going to be it it's done it's over that was all he had to do. Well, I shouldn't say that like it was simple. A nice decision here, though. Uh, now, Yuna's counterattacking, taking out one uh, command center, um, trying to bait the Terran out of his base. But uh, no, not enough. Good game. Well done for Memory. Memory is going to be the winner there in a pretty exciting match. And now we're going to go into game two. The map's going to be Andromeda. Excuse me. So, um, what can I say? Uh, Yoon uh, was just not too effective at preventing um, memory from becoming too powerful. I think you... the. The concepts that Yoon was using were very strong, but at the same time, he was unable to um, execute them, I guess, as well as he should have. He also was losing way too many shuttles back there, and losing as many shuttles as that really hurts you. I mean, those are his key units in there, units like the Reavers, the Templars. Um, and without those, there's really very little you can do to prevent um, yourself from getting beaten uh, when, the, when the time comes that Terran is going to push you. Both players are in the game. You uh, neglecting rewatching the replay. I think we're going to get this next game going pretty soon here. Stay tuned.